Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called calcium chloride, and calcium chloride falls under the class of electrolytes. The mechanism of action, or how it works in the body, is that it increases the overall force of cardiac contraction, so it has positive inotropic effects. Your indications are going to be beta blocker or calcium channel blocker overdoses, magnesium sulfate overdoses, hyperkalemia, and hypocalcemia. Although some private EMS services and fire departments carry calcium chloride, it isn't the most commonly carried medication on the ambulance. And honestly, that is because most of the indications are going to be so rare. Your beta blocker, calcium channel blocker overdose, uh, your mag sulfate overdose, those are going to be a pretty rare occurrence. And also as EMS providers out in the field, we do not have access to lab values. So it isn't the most commonly carried medication. Your dose for calcium chloride is 500 milligrams to one gram or five to 10 milliliters. So each milliliter is 100 milligrams for a total of 1,000 milligrams or one gram. Your pediatric dose will be 20 milligrams per kilogram or 0.2 milliliters per kilogram. Contraindications are going to be digitalis toxicity, suspected hypercalcemia or hypokalemia, and ventricular fibrillation. Adverse reactions can include syncope, bradycardia, cardiac arrest, hypotension, dysrhythmias, peripheral vasodilation, nausea, vomiting, and tissue necrosis at the injection site. Calcium chloride will antagonize or dull the effects of calcium channel blockers, and you don't want to mix calcium chloride with sodium bicarbonate. How it's supplied, it is typically a one gram in 10 milliliter vial. And just a few side notes about calcium chloride, you want to warm the drug to body temperature prior to administration. And also it is super important to make sure that your IV line is patent, just as we would with something like D50, because infiltration can cause and will cause tissue necrosis at the injection site. And you definitely want to monitor for hypotension as it is a peripheral vasodilator and rapid injection of calcium chloride can cause cardiac arrest. That's pretty intense. We definitely need to make sure we are not rapidly pushing calcium chloride on our patients. And just another side note, it may cause metabolic alkalosis in our patients that are taking thiazide diuretics. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local Local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching every single week and I will see you next Monday. Bye!